All right, guys. So now the only thing that left we have to do on this car is actually change um, the bearings on both sides. The bearing, I think, on this side is no good. It anytime a car gets hit um, on the rear tires, the bearings are usually go. So I went ahead, picked up some uh, basic bearings here. These is not too bad of a brand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jack up the car, put it on some stands, take the tire off, uh, take the rotor off, and then we're gonna try and access. Uh, the hub, the bearings, and, and get that off and swap that out. So let's get started. All right, so now for us to take the rotor off, we took the brake off, which was only two bolts, which was pretty simple. You just take it off, put it to the side. You're not going to damage anything. Uh, sometimes they have a plug here for the rotor. Sometimes it's a, it's a screw of simple hex screw, things like that. And this is just a little rubber grommet that's probably hiding the little hex screw inside. Once you loosen that off, and it's usually just one, the whole rotor plate should come off and then we'll be able to axe the hub behind it. So let's go ahead and get this off. Okay, so basically this is just a plug. There's no screw anywhere, which is weird. So now all I gotta do is just hit this with a mallet, knock it loose. This here is supposed to separate. I think it's right here. You see the little line? It looks like it's one piece, but it's not. But I might have problems getting this off because of all the rust, but let's see what we can do. Here's one way to see that uh, at least the bearings are bad, but it could also be the rotor as well, but I'm pretty sure it's the bearing. You hear that? So it's grinding right there somewhere, right on this side. So I'm gonna check the bearing, swap it out. If it still does that noise, then I gotta change the rotor. But right now, I mean, the bearings are cheap. I'd rather have new ones in there. Um, the rotor also, same thing, easy to swap out. Um, but the best thing is I'd be able to tell off from right here what's wrong. And then what you can do is also, you could just focus right on the, the edge of the rotor and spin it and you could also see if there's a slight little wobble in it or bent um, but other than that if it's really small you're not going to be able to see it but let's see what we can do and there we have it ah come on come on come on there you go it also got brakes on the inside apparently i didn't i didn't see that this And there it is. Here's the old one here. Time for the new one. Okay, so there's the, the new one and the old one. And you can see a big difference. Looks like the new one's made a little bit better compared to the original, but this is going to work out great. Um, so that inner brake right there, that's going to be your emergency brake. Um, it's pulled in by a cable and uh, there's no, how can I say, um, on the brake pad, there's no rubbing. So most likely that noise we were hearing was caused by the bearing. So let's get this in. All right, guys, so the new bearing is on. You can tell that it's new here. also has the new studs attached to it. I uh, just went ahead and put the rotor back on, the brake caliper back on. I'm going to put the tire back on. Um, all 
All right, guys, I got it off the trailer after making that fix, and we're gonna go for our first test drive. Uh, right now, the only thing I have is a low tire pressure light, which is not a big deal. Like I said, I still have to go to the tire, the tire shop. But let's, uh, let's take it on its first, first run here. All right, so now once we changed the bearing on the car, uh, took it for a test drive, um, it basically was so much smoother. Uh, when I test drove the vehicle before the bearing replacement, you could hear a bit of grinding um, coming from the back. So I just went ahead, changed both uh, wheel bearings. Um, a, a huge difference. It's actually ran a lot smoother. Um, so hopefully that this video kind of shows you uh, basically um, how to change the bearing. It was actually fairly easy. Um, it looked very scary, uh, especially when you look at the parts. Like, oh my gosh, can I do this or not? Um, but it is actually pretty simple. Um, like I said, in the beginning, you got to take the tire off. Once you're, once the tire is off, take the brake caliper off. Once the brake caliper off is off, then you have to take the rotor off. Once the rotor is off, then just, um, uh, four bolts to take off the bearing. So hope you enjoy like, and subscribe.